Oh my god, Tobias Harris just got hurt. Oh, didn't even notice that. All right, Toby with the big injury, and that is a big blow to the Sixers. I'm going to go at him. I don't get fouled there at all. Oh my god, Maxi just got hurt. Maxi just got... Is it... Nah. Ain't no way. Why are we on that side of the court? I'm left open for three, and I mistimed it again. 0 for 6 in the second half. In this closeout game, Sixers dealing with injury uh, issues. Daniel House is now getting meaningful fourth quarter minutes, and he's going to turn it over. Cedric Lewis down court. No one's going to catch up, and that is going to be a 14-point lead. Lewis now with 27 on the game. Embiid in the post. This could be the triple-double here, and it is. All right, so game four did not go the way uh, I expected it to go. It was the Jimmy Butler 56-point challenge, and if you didn't watch it, make sure to go check it out. Link will be in the description and in the top right-hand corner. Uh, I ended up scoring 58 points. I had zero assists, but I only played 24 minutes. And if you think about it, 58 points in 24 minutes is actually nuts, but I attempted 52 shots. I mean, I was just chucking up shots. 42% though, not that bad of a percentage if you think about it. I did fall out of that game, sadly, and we did end up losing in overtime. Now, going into game five, we obviously are still looking to close this out. We do not want the series extending anymore. LaMelo Ball needs to step up. This man is averaging 10 points on 40% shooting so far in this series, and it's not enough. It is not enough. DeAndre Ayton and I have had the brunt of the offense. I'm averaging, I believe, 40 or 50. I mean, probably 40. And Ayton's averaging 25 uh, points in the series. And I need to guard Tyrese Maxey. That's going to be my main objective this game. Hold Tyrese Maxey to under 20 points. That is our objective. And if I fail that, well, we're going to lose this game. Uh, so let's go put in our stats. Okay. All right. Here are the stats put in. I was a minus uh, in this game for the first time. I think all playoffs. Uh, we did not get the win for the first time in these playoffs, so we're going to accept invalid plus minus. I don't know why he does that for the minuses, but as you can see, there is the 58 points, 42% from the field, 33% from three, which is probably my tied for my worst three-point shooting game of these uh, of the series, not of these playoffs, of this series. Uh, so yeah, we're looking to get a big win in game five. All right, we are back on our home court here, looking to close out this series and head to the Eastern Conference Finals. One of these lower seeds is going to be there. Even if we somehow lose this series, I have blown a 3-1 series before in 2K19 in the finals. I was up 3-1 against the Celtics while I was on the Lakers, and I, I did blow that series. And my mission of holding Tyrese Maxey on 20 points is off to a good start. And I'm just going to, I was going to pull up uh, Jeremy Grant, kick it back here. Uh, we're going to have DeAndre Ayton. I did not know he had Jay Rich on him. I will take advantage of that, but I'm going to pull up for the midi, and it's good. Cedric Lewis off to a good start. And in this game, I can play my brand of basketball since I don't have a scoring challenge on my head as Tyrese Maxey uh, fouls there. Yeah, I can play my brand of basketball, but I'm going to have to trust my teammates defensively because if I'm going to if I'm gonna hold Tyrese Maxey to under 20 points, I can't be helping on every single play. That's the main reason why this man scores so much. It's because I have to help off of every single cut. Uh, sp slip anything I'm helping on it because I don't trust my teammates so that's going to be the main uh, course of action the whole Tyrese Max you just stay on him and stay attached to him as much as possible in this game and for offense get my teammates involved we gotta try and get LaMelo going offensively because he has been struggling and the points will come to me as the points come I mean this is a Jimmy Butler build might as well play like Jimmy Butler get your teammates involved and if they can't hit shots that's when you try and take over the game Oh my god, Tobias Harris just got hurt. Didn't even notice that. All right. Toby with the big injury, and that is a big blow to the Sixers. The Sixers starting to get into a little bit of foul trouble here. Already 14 fouls in this first quarter, only four minutes in. LaMelo Ball, and that could be an easy bucket. LaMelo, he hits it. LaMelo Ball, his second attempt of the game, knocks it down one for two. We have to try and get him going offensively, bro. He's been so poor in this series i've already mentioned it. i know uh the sixers got the switch with oh okay they got Embiid with brandon boston on him brandon boston played some solid defense there i won't lie contesting it without fouling or having Embiid uh just completely send him to brazil in the paint 
And LaMelo, I kind of want you to cut a little bit quicker there. But kicks it out. Brandon Boston in the corner. It's good. Hornets go up by five. LaMelo Ball with the great passing and awareness. Brandon Boston knocking down the tough corner three. Also, you may know, is Embiid hurt? Embiid got hurt. Embiid got hurt. I, I swear I just saw... Oh, oh LaMelo, you got to pass the ball. I swear I just saw the uh, injury icon over Embiid. Also, I really need Aiton to stop going to that cor um that wing that I'm going to. Um, Lamelo ball, kick it to Lamelo. That's who I wanted to pass to, not you. And Lamelo misses. All right, I'm gonna sub out here for the first time in this game. Have a six-point lead. Most likely will be five with that Embiid free throw. And we are up by 12. The bench unit is back. Last game, the bench unit was just god awful. Besides Nick Richards, like usual. And they could not extend our lead or even give us a lead. Uh, D'Anthony Melton from downtown. He knocks it down. Cuts the lead to nine. But yeah, the bench was just poor. I'm taking smarter shots now because, like I said, I'm not looking to score aggressively unless I have to. Which right now I don't have to. So that's the positive. Terry Rozier's got to get away from me, though. Uh, Nick Richards cutting. That's an easy... Ooh, that should have been an and one. Tyrese Maxey picks up his third foul, though. With Maxey with three fouls. I gotta be aggressive and go at him. I'm gonna go at him. I don't get fouled there at all. Oh my god, Maxi just got hurt. Maxi just got... Is he... Nah. He came down on his ankle right there. Yeah, he went straight down. We'll see what happens. If he's out of the game, Maxi might be gone. There he lost Tobias. And Tyrese Maxi has just gotten injured. And that right there, if Maxi cannot return in this game, might have shattered the Sixers' hopes of extending this series. Jay Rich, the, they, Harden and Bede really just have to go nuclear now with those two out. Their second and fourth scorers just going out. Not ideal. Jay Rich, though, is going to miss it at the basket. Harden, the only man in the paint. Reggie Bullock is back going up with the layup. It's off, bro. There's a lid on the rim for Cedric Lewis in the paint. Harden, 14 points on 6 for 9 shooting. So far in this game, willing the Sixers to stay in this game. And Terry, you gotta stop doing all this flashy stuff, bro. Uh, they're they're con contesting me very well, and I mistimed that, bro. I am struggling offensively, bro. Harden's gonna get a much needed rest, and you can see Tyrese Maxey struggling to get up the court. I don't know how this man is playing. So they have Tobias Harris out of the game with an unknown arm injury. I almost got that steal there. They have Tyrese Maxey playing on a sprained ankle. And Joel Embiid playing through an injury right now. The Sixers, as Embiid goes out of bounds, are hobbled. Oh, that is going to be the end of the first half. We are up by 17 points. So let's just check to see if they have Tobias Harris's injury here. He broke his forearm. Yeah, that's bad. We already know Tyrese got a sprained right ankle. And Joel Embiid is playing through food poisoning. Harden from downtown. It's good. James Harden with the triple. Cuts the lead to 14. He's got 17 now in the game. And Bede's got 11. And that is really their only offensive contribution for the Sixers. Uh, Lamelo kick it back from downtown. That might be bad, yeah. And I'm getting subbed out after starting this quarter. 0 for 4 from the field. Not good. And the Sixers have cut the lead from 14 to 7. Why are we on that side of the court? I'm left open for three, and I mistimed it again. 0 for 6 in the second half. All right, start of the fourth quarter, and it is a defensive battle. Neither team has cracked 80 points yet at the beginning of the fourth. Cedric Lewis obviously having a struggle in this closeout game. Sixers dealing with injury uh, issues. Daniel House is now getting meaningful fourth quarter minutes and he's going to turn it over. Cedric Lewis down court. No one's going to catch up and that is going to be a 14 point lead. Lewis now with 27 on the game. Embiid post fade like usual. Oh he kicks it out last second. How did he even complete that pass? Melton for three. Eh, it's good. How is that open? There, there is no way that should have been considered an open shot, bro. I digress. That is no, no, no way in hell. Can I hit? That should be considered open. It is. That's a bucket for Cedric Lewis. Extends the lead to 16. Looking for my 10th assist here. Can I get it? LaMelo Ball is going to ice it. That is a double-double. One rebound away 
from a game ceiling triple double. Embiid drew uh, Aiton's fifth foul, so Aiton one more and he's out. I mean, four minutes left, 15 points. They go on a little run and they're still in it. Lamella Ball doing a bunch of fancy stuff. Kicks it back to me. That's going to be. A, nope, I drain it. I'm at least good for one of those. I'm at least good for one slightly early three in every game. Embiid in the post. This could be the triple double here. And it is. Cedric Lewis capping off an amazing. I want to say an amazing second round because well, it wasn't great. I've had some poor games. But capping off this second round with a triple double. Kick it out to Brandon Boston, please. All right. He's going to miss it. It figures. But Aiton on the offensive glass. This dude's been a monster on the offensive boards. And that's the dagger. Three minutes left up by 20. We're advancing to the Eastern Conference Finals. And as we near the end, this lead has just ballooned. The Sixers have scored just four points in the span of, I think, four minutes. Make that six as Harden gets by Rozier easily. Harden put up a great game, but it didn't mean much as the Sixers are going to fall in round two. They did get a game on us. They did spoil my 50-point game. Oh, Aiton, easy cut to the basket. But that is going to be the end of the Sixers' little Cinderella run, beating the two-seed in seven games in round one, but getting knocked out by the team they were fighting with for contention for that sixth seed as Embiid knocks down a late three. Losing to the team, they lost a tiebreaker two in the regular season. And now we will face most likely the Miami Heat who are up 3-1. The only team we'll face so far in these playoffs that has beaten us in the regular season. I believe we have beaten the Celtics. We have beaten the Sixers in the regular season. We have not beaten the Miami Heat. So that should be a series to look forward to as James Harden's going to dribble the ball out. And the Charlotte Hornets are heading to the Eastern Conference Finals for the first time since, I don't know, Larry Johnson? Alonzo Mourning, I don't even know if they've been to a conference finals. Final box score for the game. Cedric Lewis, bounce back game, shooting wise. I keep forgetting I had 58. This is, oh, oh, oh my, oh my. This is probably a better stat line, to be honest, in that 58 points. I'm not going to lie. 44 points, 12 rebounds, 14 assists, and 5 steals. Zero. Count that zero turnover game with 14 assists. This has got to be probably Cedric's best game of his career. 44 points, 12 rebounds, 14 assists, 5 steals with 0 turnover, shooting above 50% from the field and 50 from 3. Yeah, by, by far has got to be his best game of his career. And LaMelo still can't hit a 3, but a much needed momentum and morale boost of a game heading into the Eastern Conference Finals. He had 18 and 11 with 4 steals. He's been amazing with the steals in this series. 9 for 19, 0 for 6 from downtown. Not going to not gonna cut it. Aiton. Continued his dominance, 18 points, 12 rebounds. I want to see three offensive rebounds. It felt like he had eight. And I just saw Nick Richards had four offensive rebounds. He posted another double-double with two blocks, not missing a shot. And Jeremy Grant's been actually pretty decent in this series. He put up 12. Uh, Brandon Boston's been mid. Terry Rogier had a, a five, <laughs> just fives on bad shooting. And for the Sixers, James Harden. Really? Turned into Houston Harden with just 30 points. He didn't really do much assisting, rebounding-wise. Shot very efficient from the field. Didn't take enough shots. Embiid had 24 and 13 on very poor efficiency. He was uh, sick. He had food poisoning. De'Anthony Melton was your leading scorer with 11. I completed my mission, but Tyrese Maxey was hurt this game. So, I don't know how I feel about that. Jay Rich went 2 for 10. Sixers, injuries kind of just hit them at the wrong time as they were gaining momentum. And they get eliminated. We're most likely going up against the Miami Heat or the uh, Celtics and somehow pull a 3-0 comeback out of their ass. We'll be facing one of two very, very good teams. And it should be a good one. That's going to be for me. GG.